Hi everybody, it's Nathan here at the Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary, here to talk to you about white nose syndrome that happens in bats in Wisconsin. Now unfortunately, white nose syndrome is a leading cause of death for a lot of our bats that we have here that are native to the area. Now this happens because this it's a fungal infection that gets onto the bats' nose and wings while they're hibernating in caves. Now this can often irritate them and wake them up during the winter time when they're supposed to be sleeping. And once they wake up, they try flying around using a lot of their stored up energy, which can then cause them to become weak and later die because of hypothermia or malnutrition. Now white nose syndrome has been moving across the United States over the years. Originally it was found in New York in 2006 and has since moved west. Now over the years it has spread down south and up north even into Canada. It's a very big threat that we have here to our native bats and some colonies up to 90% of our, the bats have been wiped out due to white nose syndrome. But not all hope is lost. There are some people who are working on cures for the white nose syndrome itself and some people who are working on vaccines as well to help these bats survive the winter. So today we're going to introduce you to Sylvia, one of our resident big brown bats. Now as you can see, the name Big Brown is a little deceptive. She doesn't weigh more than just a few ounces. Now normally you'd find them roosting in uh, cracks in rocks or in caves, especially that's where they like to hibernate during the winter. Now right around this time of the summer, this is when you'll see them flying outside with their young that have just been born. They're all starting to learn how to fly and you'll see lots of them around sunset when they're out searching for bugs. Sylvia came to us uh, at, to the Wildlife Sanctuary back in October of 2019. We're not sure how, exactly how old she is, but on average out in the wild, big brown bats can live about 15 years. Here in captivity with us, she could live quite a bit longer. Now Jody is about to feed our big brown bat, so we'll see if she wants to eat a mealworm. And maybe. Every once in a while she does. And all bats in Wisconsin are insectivores, so that means they eat primarily insects. They are very beneficial for our agriculture that we have here in the state. They eat lots of the pest beetles and <laughs> other bugs that we think of that are destroying our crops. So they are very, very beneficial ah. to our state 